An unsettling trend for troops trying to end the fighting in Afghanistan. Afghan soldiers are turning their weapons on U.S. and coalition troops at ever-increasing levels. Today, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Martin Dempsey, arrived at the Bagram Air Base just north of Kabul to discuss the alarming number of attacks and to try to find a way to stop them. CCTV's Sean Caleb has been monitoring the story. He joins us now to discuss the recent events. So what's been going on? Well, really, it is an alarming trend. So far, there have been 32 so-called inside attacks where troops with the Afghan army turned their weapons on U.S. and coalition uh, servicemen and women. And to put that in context, there were only 21 all of last year, so we still have four full months in this year. And the past couple of weeks have been extremely deadly. Ten U.S. troops have been killed most recently over the weekend in the uh, province of Kandahar, which is a hotbed for the Taliban, a very violent town called Spin Boldak. Now, the Taliban has made no secret about this. One of their main goals this year is to try and recruit people who are sympathetic th with their ultra-conservative religious-based cause and try to get them to join the Afghan army. Once in, then they want them to initiate these uh, deadly assaults. So it really does a lot to the morale, as you can imagine, of the troops, especially the U.S. troops, who right now are probably counting the months before they go home, and they have to worry, is the guy that I'm supposed to be working with mentoring training to take over this country is this a person who's going to turn his weapon on me in the near future so certainly this is having an impact oh very dicey indeed you said they make no secret about their goal I imagine Dempsey's goal is no secret as well. Who does he plan to visit while he's in the theater? Yeah, Dempsey is, the chief person he's talking to right now is Marine General John Allen. He's commander of all the NATO troops uh, that are there. They're holding their talks, uh, as far as I know, up at Bagram right now. And the interesting thing, the only information we've gotten out of the talks, one statement. So there haven't been, like, the public news conference. So right now, probably some really detailed discussions going on behind the scene. What can we do to try and take this problem head on? Because this is a huge concern. The whole uh, blueprint, if you will, for the plan for the Afghan troops to take over once the U.S. leaves in 2014 is to train what will be a 360,000 large uh, force of Afghan soldiers to take over the country. Now, if they have to worry, is it being infiltrated by Taliban troops? Are there concerns that they could turn uh, either on the U.S. troops or even worse, uh, you know, turn out in mass and cause some serious mm -hmm. concerns uh, in the future, especially the people that they're guarding? Then is this whole blueprint going nowhere? Yeah. Well, a lot of interesting uh, questions that still need to be answered. Sean Caleb's, thanks so much.